Hey guys, welcome to CR Inter Design. I'm Chetan here, and in this tutorial, we are going to model a mechanical part. This tutorial is for beginner to intermediate, so anybody and everybody can understand the modeling process without wasting of time. Now let's get started. So just open your blend file, and then you need to add a cylinder, and then vertex should be. We can go with a little bit of 16 words or 12 words. Okay. Then go to the top view and then turn on your x-ray mode, go to the front view and delete the bottom words because we don't want that 3D form first of all. And you will get the 3D planar shape and set the origin to the geometry and then snap it to the 3D cursor. You can use that pie menu. Okay. Otherwise you can use the move tool also. Then select everything. And here first we want to create a good topology because it is a octa, it is a dual con. Means it's polygon. So just create the right topology. You can select the words and then right click and then connect vertex path. After that, select everything and you need to duplicate it. And for that, Shift D is the shortcut key. So just Shift D and duplicate it and then move it along the X axis. Okay, like this you need to move. And first we want to block out the parts so that's why I'm using this uh, 2d planes like a 2d cylinder planes you can say and just adjust the size and the proportion of uh, your model shift D one more time to duplicate it and move it according to the shape of your mesh so just scale it down like this and then we need to select everything or before that just uh, adjust the you can rotate it and you can create the right uh, topology in between them so just uh, select these edges and then press F to fill the gap in between them and you can select them and then rotate it so you will get the good topology good edge flow and same thing with this two one so just select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and then select these faces and then rotate them. Like this you need to do. Then just you need to scale down them and adjust its size and then select these faces and then press I for the insert operation okay after that delete these faces because uh, we want to create a more topology add there so that's why I have delete those faces okay then adjust it one more time then add a circle and make sure you should have the same vertex count for that circle because we want to create another topology at there so that's why then fix that circle in between in the center cylinder so then select these edges and then press F to fill the gap like this we can create this with the 3d form also but that will be a little bit difficult and we will uh, destroy the good topology so first create a good topology in 2d form and then extrude it and then I have created a little bit of design here just a simple just selecting few faces and then press I for the insert operation and then delete these faces so one more time insert it and just adjust its scale and here I want to create a more booleans like a small hole so that's why I have used the insert operation over there so I can create a more uh, booleans at there okay then you need to select everything and then E to extrude and so you can see with the right topology we have got that 3d form
then select this face loops you can select all shift and then select those face loops You can press and hold the control key for that snappy uh, option so you will can snap your mesh and you will get the right uh, proportions right dimensions uh, equal dimensions for your mesh okay then you need to add the loop cuts like this because we will use the subdivision surface modifier so that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this and I want to create a little bit of more design in that particular mesh in in between those cylinders. Then you can add a subdivision surface modifier and just see where you need to add more loop cuts so you can tight your mesh. and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well and just we need to add more details on this particular model so we can add easily those details and then you can add um, more details on it or you can select them like this and then press I for the insert operation And then extrude inside extrude along the normal and then you just need to extrude inside them like this and give the uh, small value at their okay like this and then you need to press I for the insert operation one more time so it will create a one more loop there and then you just need to add more loop cuts which will support our mesh shape form of our mesh okay so that's why I just add more loop cuts like this just scale them down like this if it's not scaling then just move them along the z axis select these words and move them along the z axis like this and then add loop cuts don't add uh, loop cuts too close you will get the weird result then you can see those weird results are there and that's not look so good so make sure why you are creating something like this like something extruding from the curved surface extruding out from the curved surface and you want to make it tight but don't make it too close uh, don't need to add loop cuts too close to your mesh you will get the weird result so that's why I keep a little bit distance and that will look much more better and in real life also the shapes are like this and then just add a loop cuts like this
you can see I have added the simple details I have used the simple exit operation and the insert operation add there and now you can see the topology is not good and then we can create one boolean add there so you can just need to select the faces and then use the loft tool loop tool and then loft tool loop right click loop and then loft option is there okay so here i want to create a small small holes so that's why select this face loop and then press i for the insert and give the insert the thickness value and just add one loop cut here just to make it sharper to make that edge little bit hard and if you want then you can add more details on it just one more time insert it or you can create any kind of details but I don't want to do any more so just select these faces uh, here make sure there are 12 words so we can create a 6 booleans uh, 6 uh, there are 12 words so we can create a 6 holes at there just we need to add one cent loop cut at the center and then we need to use the insert operation so you can see I didn't add one loop cut so I have to go back at there otherwise I can add the that center loop cut later on also so just select these faces and use the insert operation and you can turn on your extreme mode so you can select uh, back faces also one at a time that will be handy Okay, then you need to add one loop cut at the center and then select the spaces and then use the loop tool and make a circle. And make sure your individual origin should be on so you can scale them along uh, from their origin and just scale them adjust it scale and then one more time insert it and then you can you can't use the lock tool at there because we have selected all the faces so just delete those faces and then select edge select the bottom edge and then you need to use the breach edge loop you can use the lock tool also here uh, uh, if you are selecting like a uh, cylindrical form like this then you can use the lock tool but you, if you select all these uh, cylinders all these faces and you try to use the lock tool it won't work so just select these edges edge loop and then bridge edge loop right click and then bridge edge loop And now we need to add more loops at there so we can add like this but it will uh, you will face little bit more work so just select this face loop and we want to reduce our effort so, and then press I for the insert so you can add the easily two loops there two loop cuts and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well So easily we have model this much just we need to add more details if you want to make your mesh more details so just I am selecting these faces and here I want to create a hole so that's why I just select these faces 
and you can see one more time I'm selecting all these spaces and I will try to use the lock tool and it won't work so just press I for the insert and use the lock tool you can't say you can say it's not work you can see the weird results that's why select these faces just we will delete this so you don't need to double tap G to slide just select these faces and then select this one and then use the loft tool uh, loop tool and then loft and just add a loop cuts like this and same thing you have to do here just select these faces use the lock option which is there in the loop tool and then add a loop cuts like this and now you can see our mesh looks decent decent hard surface modeling easy hard surface modeling and right topology hard surface modeling we have done here thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care